Hey guys, Storm here with another episode of Let's Make Pokemon in Unity. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is working a, a whole lot more on the battle. Uh, I'm sorry that the last few episodes have been uh, mainly focused on the battle, uh, but that's a big part of the um, Pokemon series. Uh, so what we're going to do today is start with the UI implementation of the battle. Uh, so with the battle camera, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new UI uh, canvas. And then this canvas uh, will be... Um, uh, screen space on camera, and then we'll just drag the battle camera for the render camera. Um, yep, yeah, and that should be right. Uh, so the UI scale mode is we want it to uh, scale with the screen size, and so our reference resolution should be fine right there for now. Um, all right, so that's good. So what we're going to start doing is um, adding in a few elements. So. Uh, for starters, we can add in a, a game object UI panel. We're going to be needing a few of these panels actually. Um, also, what I'm also going to do, just so I can see some things, is uh, scroll up to the very top where the main camera is and just disable it for the moment. Uh, this is just so we can come down and see uh, how we're affecting directly. So, our panel which is uh, right here. Um, we're gonna set it to the um, uh, artwork that we made a while back. So what we can do is we just go to our sprite sheets, uh, sorry, our UI, and then just drag that background on there, and then turn the alpha up. Uh, the next thing we wanna do is just go over to our canvas, and we wanna set the order and layer to something like uh, 10, just for now. Uh, this is because we set the Pokemon 1 to be 5. Uh, so we'll, what we can do now is just go to our panel and then we can uh, resize this as such. So we can just bring it all the way down uh, to like here, for example. Uh, I'm going to also bring this up a tad just so we can uh, have more room. And with doing that, what we're going to do is then move the defense podium uh, up with it. And the same for our attack podium, I'm just going to move it up even higher, uh, just so we can see our Pokemon. Okay, so this panel will be called the message panel for now. And this will just be informing us about our attacks and things like that. So if we just duplicate the message panel, and I'll hide the other one for now, uh, we'll have a info panel. And then this info panel will just uh, be um, a little bit smaller on the left. Uh, we might even make it half the size just for now. So if we just said right 400, that'll be half. Uh, and then what I'm also going to do is duplicate the info panel and then move it across. And then that will just allow us to have the two menus side by side, which we're going to have. Uh, this one over here will be the um, moves uh, for now. So what we can do on that is then we can add a um, grid component to that, so a grid layout group. And what it's going to have is, uh, so what this does is it automatically aligns things in a grid inside of this that are children. And I'll explain that in a second. So. For now, all we want to do is just go ahead and click uh, UI text in there for now. And we'll just write fight and uh, yep. Uh, the next thing we want to do is just add in a bit of padding. Uh, so we'll have 20 pixels around the entire thing, uh, just so we can see. Uh, so for our text, what we want to do is just increase the font size right now to, uh, for now we'll say 20. Then we want to go to our uh, moves thing again, and our cell size uh, for now we'll say is going to be 200 across, and then we'll say uh, 30 for the height. Uh, so that just sets this to the right height and size. Uh, sorry, uh, a bit of mass calculation. Uh, we'll set this to 160, uh, just to allow for the padding either side. So you can see it'll be half, roughly. Um, so that when we do eventually add another one, which we will, so I'll just start duplicating this a few times. 
Um, so this one uh, will be bag. This one over here will be uh, Pokemon. And then this one over here will be run. What we can do is, um, if we just set the bottom to zero here, and then the bottom to zero here, that would just help us out a little bit. Uh, but what we can do is, is uh, for the moves, uh, we'll just go in here and we'll change the height uh, to 42, and that would just even them out. And then for each of these texts, we'll just select all of them, and we want them to be aligned in the middle, just like that. Alright, uh, so what I've done is, you can access on the uh, GitHub page, is I've added the fonts holder, and I've just downloaded this font here. Uh, so what we can do is just go to all these texts, and then just drag this onto where the font is, and it just gives it a bit more of a pixelated look. The next thing that we want to do is uh, duplicate one of these texts, and we're going to drag that under the info panel. And then if you just reset its position, uh, like so, uh, what we can do is move this down 20 pixels-ish. So if we move it like that, and then we can move it across 20 pixels. Uh, so if that's 80, we can just move that to 100. And then if that's negative 20, we can just move it to negative 40. And what we're going to do here is just set the font align up at the top and we'll just increase the size like so. And this will just allow us to write um, yeah, update messages here. Right. So for now if I just, uh, sorry I'll change this from moves to being um, selection. What I'm going to want to do now is uh, enable the message panel and then I'm going to duplicate this text item and put that on the message panel and then I'm just going to disable these two for the moment and then I'm just going to resize this text uh, right here. Um, Alright, that's perfect. So now we can disable that, re-enable these two. Uh, so the next thing what we want to do is uh, grab these two things and we're going to duplicate them and we'll turn off these two uh, so over here one of them uh, the selection will be moves and then this one will just be move info so the moves what we're going to do is um, the entire thing needs to be switched around so the move info will now move to the right and then the moves itself will now move to the left and so the text itself in there is we'll just add in move one for example and then move two and then just to set this up over here um, we'll have the info text on this side uh, so over here we'll change this to um, pp and we'll set this in the middle uh, we're also going to resize this because it, need, it doesn't need to be as big as it is. Uh, we'll set it to be about uh, this big, which means we can then increase the size of this uh, to here, which also means we just need to increase the size of this. Uh, we just need to increase the uh, cell size. I've just reset it to 250. Uh, so now if we go back over here, we have our PP. I'm just going to make this uh, a little bit smaller. And then I'm also going to duplicate that, and we're going to move it down. And then for now, we're just going to write uh, type, type. And then this can just increase to the full size. Uh, so following that, what we can do is then duplicate this one more time and move it along. And then increase the size of that to where we need it. Uh, so I'm going to rename uh, this one just to PP info. This one to the type text, and then this one over here to pp cost. All right, so the next thing I want to set up is um, we'll just duplicate the movie info for now, and we'll move that up one. 
Uh, we're going to change the size of this considerably, so we just bring it down a bit. Inside the move info, we can just delete uh, some of these things just for the moment. And then I'll also increase the width of that, just like that. And then we can move it out from the edge a little bit. Uh, so this is just going to be where our Pokemon info is going to go. Uh, so for now, we can say uh, name of Pokemon, and we'll put it up to the top. And we just set the height like so. Uh, so the name can go about halfway. We'll move it up there. Uh, then what we'll do is we just duplicate that text, bring it over to the right, and we'll just decrease the size a bit. And we'll format this one to the right. And here we'll just say uh, level zero for now. And then, so this one, we'll just write the level text. And over here, we'll type Pokemon name. Uh, under the level text, what we'll do is we'll duplicate that. And then down to the bottom, uh, we'll bring in a our um, health points. So for now, we'll just say 100 out of 100. And that'll just be the health. Um, Next, we're going to need a HP uh, indicator. So this one will just say HP. And that'll be formatted to the left. It doesn't need to be much bigger than that. Um, and then we'll just bring that all the way over here again. Um, so we'll implement the bar in a sec. So now what we're going to do is we'll just duplicate that. And then it will get moved up to the top right. In which case, we'll bring it down just a tab then again. And um, what we can do for this one is get rid of the uh, that text there, which means we can make this just a bit smaller, like such. Uh, so now what I've done is I've just created a uh, circular object, nearly <laughs> nearly circle, and uh, this will be just for the health. Uh, so we can do is set the pixels per unit to 60. We'll set it to multiple, uh, point, and then true color again. And then if we jump over to the sprite editor, I'm just going to set up the border on this. So we're going to slice it automatically. And then we're going to add in the border. Uh, so for now, if we just say the border is uh, two pixels from the left and the right, like so. And then from the top, we'll say two again which allows it just to stretch. Uh, I believe that'll work perfectly. So if we click apply, um, for now we'll come down to this move info here. We'll create a game object, a new UI panel. Um, and we'll just drag that under the move info. And so that way if we just redraw this now, um, resize it, sorry. And we set it like so. Uh, what we're going to do is set the background to the health and then we're also going to be able to change the color of this now um, because it's white we can just change the color <laughs> that didn't quite work we'll have a another gander in that in a second um, yeah so for now we'll just set it to gray uh, so i'll just use 21 21 21 because that's what i've made the borders be and uh, rather than having it be a circular shape uh, for now, what I'll do is I'll just grab the uh, UI sprite like that, because that one works. Um, so that works for where we want it to go. Um, and then the next thing is, so we'll just say that's the health background. And then we just want to create a foreground for that. Uh, so this will be called the health foreground. Uh, so this will be the one that we say that the color, uh, for example, will be green. And then we can just see it deplete uh, as it goes down. So that'll be the health, and we'll be able to make it change color in a second. Uh, so I'll just duplicate those two. And um, I'll drag this one up to move info, and then this one up to move info one again. Uh, sorry. Move info one, and then I'll drag those two up to where they need to go. Uh, which is all the way up there. Now, if you end up with something like this where the black is showing above the green, 
uh, firstly just align them up correctly um, what you can do is you just click and then drag it under so that's how the, um, the new UI works is it works by layering in the hierarchy as well as uh, the order and layer fields uh, so that's the UI for the battle system uh, so the next episode will be the implementation of using the UI and then hopefully we'll have the battling getting underway uh, by next episode. So I've been Storm, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave me a like, uh, sorry, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment sections below, or you can contact me on Twitter at Beastorm Games. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you've enjoyed the series so far.